Hi, this is James from Consort.org, and we're going to talk about awesome admin tools. What is awesome admin tools? A common problem I find with all PHP scripts, including PHP Fox, it's hard to figure out exactly how people are using the front end of any given site. The first question you might ask is, what are people doing on my website right now? So the first tool we developed is called the Real-Time Monitor. This tool is designed to show you what's happening right now. As people use your site, they're creating blogs, photos, forum posts, comments, every second. I didn't see why there wasn't a way to watch these items be created. What we have is a way to actually watch people create content and interact with each other. So let's go take a look at the monitor itself. And you'll see that there's rows for each item creation. There is the name of the monitor, the user creating the item, the title of an item if one is available, for instance, the title of a blog. Some items will have extra text, like a blog or a comment, and we can display that here. Items with targets will show the target type and the link to that target as well as the owner of that target item. And finally, we display the IP address of the user creating this item. All of these are links. If we click on the user, we can see the user profile. If we click on the item title, it'll bring us directly to that item. If we click on the target item title, we'll go see the target item. And we can even see the profile of the user who owns that target item. This information is delayed by 10 seconds at all times. That way we don't have to hammer the database to get this information back out. We can queue it and bring it out in the order that it was put in. And by using millisecond accurate timestamps, we can accurately recreate the original pacing as well. So for instance, if two of your users are having a heated conversation through comments, these rows will display faster. If something important happens on your site, you will see more photos and blog posts being created. It becomes simple when you start thinking of the site in terms of objects. For instance, blogs and comments. These are the first two objects that come with awesome admin tools. If we click on blog, we can see what's going on here. We assign it a database table, we give it a little bit of information about that database table, and then we can tell it where PHP Fox plugin hooks are located and which variables to look for. This way, when somebody creates a blog, Awesome Admin Tools knows that that blog is being created and can display it on the monitor. If we go back to comments, you can see this is also an object and has many of the same fields filled out. But importantly, this one has a target. All we're telling it here is that a comment targets another object. For instance, you can comment on a blog post. We set up a monitor for the blog object. And because Awesome Admin Tools knows when a blog is being created, we can choose to monitor that information and display it on the real-time monitor. You can assign any color you like to it, and can even directly monitor objects that don't have PHP Fox plugin hooks. Now, let's take a look at the next section of the awesome admin tools. This is your advanced stats. It's similar to the information that PHP Fox will show us, with the exception of the control you have over the display of this information. If we go to add a new stat type, we can select any object that you've created, we select the period length, say a day, and the number of periods. We, if we wanted to look back two weeks, we could put 14 here. And then when we go see the stats, you'll have a better idea of what's actually going on. For instance, if you begin advertising your site on another website, you might have a better idea of at what time those ads are most effective by looking at your signups per hour. If you posted a new blog entry and wanted to see how people were reacting to it, you could even monitor comments by minute. You can create multiple stat types for every object that you have. 
so the possibility is really pretty endless here. The next on the list is the cache dump. This one will help developers out. All this button does here is it literally removes every file out of the cache directory. You can see here that there are files cached currently and if we click it, it will remove all of them, including directory. Anything that's in that cache folder is going to go. If we wanted, we can keep it automatically updated here. And you see as we load pages on the site, it'll actually jump as PHP Fox begins caching the files back. If you have a need to completely get rid of the cache, this is the place to do it. The next item is our database viewer. Often when developing, you'll need to just take a quick look at a database table. You can choose to keep this automatically updated as well, so you can watch as rows are added to that database table. It also supports a quick search, so finding a table that you're looking for can be a lot easier as well. We've already seen objects, monitor types, and stats, so let's go to the rewrite manager. PHP Fox has a little known table called PHP Fox Rewrite that we can see over here in the database viewer. The PHP Fox Rewrite table is responsible for rewriting part of the URL. For instance, if you go to your site's URL slash login, it'll automatically display the page at user slash login. It's really just a shortcut. In the past, if you wanted to add an entry to this table, you had to use some sort of database editing tool. This is only a shortcut to add or remove rows from the rewrite table, but it does make it very easy. Finally, there's a link to Awesome Admin Tool Settings, where we can change stuff like the real-time monitor's display behavior, and for how long it caches changes to your database, as well as the way Google Charts is displaying data in the advanced stats. Another cool module that's included with Awesome Admin Tools is Generator. When developing on a PHP Fox site, it often helps to have users on that site. At Consort, we're developing many different add-ons and have many different PHP Fox development environments, and it was becoming tedious for us to add these users over and over to each of these sites. I finally had a project come up where in order to test it properly, we had to create tens of thousands of users. So in my free time, began developing Generator. This thing ended up being so much fun to play with that we decided to release it along with System Operator, the other awesome admin tools module. If we wanted to generate accounts for this site here, we go to Generate Accounts. We tell it we want to do, say, 15 users. We have an option to use modern names or, because it's funny, medieval names. We specify an email address prefix, specify a gender and an age range. We can set the location statically or have it automatically generate a US city based on zip codes. And we can even limit user generation to a specific area. We set a static or random password and then decide if, whether or not, we want to assign profile pictures while it's generating these users. Now, this is probably one of the most fun features to use here. We specify Google search terms for male and female users, as it will use gender-appropriate images as it's generating. Uh, we can choose to specify an image size and choose whether or not we want to use Google Image Search Safe Search option and click Add. And as it's generating users, it will actually display um, the latest profile picture that it has found. It'll display the user ID, name, gender, age, and location of the user it's, it has just generated, as well as the image that it used for that profile, and will let us know what's going on with the Google image search, the image search URL caching, throttling, and remote site access as it happens. When user generation is complete, we'll automatically go to the image swap page where we can easily swap out images you find inappropriate or just incorrect. We can specify a new set of gender specific search terms, image size and safe search setting here, and then just click on any profile image to swap it out with a new one. For instance, if we wanted to change this guy here, we just click on it 
It'll grab an image from cache. If one is not available for the specified search criteria, it'll get another page of Google image results and then download the image and assign it to the user. We can do it for multiple users at once. It's really pretty easy to use. The final option here is to directly manage the cached URLs. And this will give us an idea of what sort of images Google Image Search is returning to us. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like, you can visit us at consort.org and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have there.